and good morning and welcome in. I am still sitting over here at the Walmart because uh, my delivery is only for 9 o'clock this morning. So we got about 8.19 right now. So we're just getting ready to uh, start heading over there. But uh, I am really, really worried about my turbo. I'll let you guys hear it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but it is squealing pretty good and I'm really worried about it that I'm not going to be able to make it home, but we'll see, I guess. I'll have to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. And I'm going to call my mechanic here once I get unloaded or whatever, and then I'll talk to him and see what he says about it. We'll see if he thinks I can make it home. Then I'll want to try and make it home, and uh, want to try and replace it at home. But yeah, that's going to be a few dollars. But hey, what can you do? I guess at the positive side, it's nice and warm up here. And it's been a nice trip so far. It's always a positive to the negative side too, you know. At least the engine is still working and everything, you know. I'm still able to drive. I'm just taking a real easy, I don't step on it a lot, so... But anyways, let's go ahead over to our delivery place and then uh, we'll try and get there and go pick up our reload in Houston, Texas and if we can make it there and then we'll go from there, I guess. Here we go, we got unloaded. Had a little bit of a hard time there, but uh, we made it happen. What I mean by that is uh, my dispatch told me that they had made an appointment there for 9 o'clock, right? Well, guess what? When I got there, they told me I didn't have an appointment there. So I called my dispatch and I said, well, they're telling me oh, I got no appointment time there. And they said, well, yeah, that, that guy made an appointment there. So, well, I said, then I guess they will have to look into it. So the dispatcher, I guess, did uh, contact them or whatever, and uh, yeah, it didn't take very long, maybe half an hour after that, and then uh, they called me and said back her into that, that door, so I guess they had found where the appointment was made, so we made it happen, we got unloaded there, and now we are putting the hammer down to go to uh, Houston. First, we're going to go fuel up. Got another 14 miles to go, and then we got a flying J up there. We'll fuel her up. I haven't fueled up since I left home, so we're running pretty low on fuel right now. So we'll go fuel her up, and then we have to uh, put the hammer down. Okay, did you come in the same way? Otherwise, we won't be in uh, Houston on time. I'm even afraid that I may not get there on time, anyways, because. By the time I get to Houston, uh, it's going to be probably 4.30. Uh, it's going to be a rush hour trying to get through all that. Trying to get on, get to the plant there on time so I can get loaded. That's uh, going to be hard, but we'll see. Hopefully we can make that also happening. If that's the case, then we shall be loaded. And hopefully we'll get out of Houston tonight. Start heading towards Madison Hat. Ready to talk to my mechanic. And uh, he's going to try and uh, get me in there next week, Monday. I'm going to look at my turbo and hopefully my turbo will last that long. And we'll figure out if the turbo is shot or not. We just finished fueling up. Didn't do too shabby on fuel mileage, and it's 6.02 US miles per gallon, so that's not bad. Fuel 220 gallons. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of fuel. So now we're all filled up, and now we're putting the hammer down. Welcome to Houston area. We're not exactly in Houston yet, but we are just on the north side of Houston, Texas. Yeah, here we go. We are just about to get onto the uh, 610 highway, it's called I-610. Yeah, 
it's a little bit of rush hour up here, but it's been not too bad. Keep I don't know if you're going to be able to see up there in the horizon, the uh, all the high rise buildings up there. That's downtown Houston up there, but we'll have to see. We'll have a look at all these overpasses that we got up here. Look at that, way up there, there's a truck going up above. I love going through big cities like that just for the view of all these big bridges, you know. One mile. Take TX 225 East well, Pasadena. right here we are climbing up a big overpass. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but right there on the right looks like there's a big ship right there. Loading containers, yep, right there to the right. All kinds of ship docks up here and stuff like that. We got about uh, two miles to go to our pickup location. And I got 426 right now is the time. I sure hope they'll load me today. I am very, very hoping for that they will load me today so that way I can get out of Houston. And uh, I don't have to deal with rush hour tomorrow, you know? I mean, have a look at the view that you get from up here. You can see so much. Look at all of them overpasses there to the right. You got all kinds of factories up here, that's for sure. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it there on the camera, but... All kinds of factories, that's for sure. Well, here we go. These guys are pretty fussy up here. You gotta wear all kinds of safety gear up here and take a real easy. But we will get in here. Oh yeah, this is second street and this should be third street I believe. We should be able to see that sign better but we gotta go in this way and then uh, back her in. Oh, this is still 2nd Street. He said 3rd Street. So we got to go to the next street. Well, we were lucky today. We got loaded. Yeah, I am super excited. I am very, very happy that I got loaded. Now we're at least going to be able to get out of Houston and uh, drive far enough away so we can make it to Madison at Alberta by Thursday. That's what the plan is. They want the slow to be there by Thursday and uh, hey, here we are. We should be able to make it. At least that would be my plan unless my turbo goes bad or I have any kind of more problems, you know. Continue on this road. And for three other than miles. that, I'll be good to go. Yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. And it's still, uh, the sun is still up there, you know. It's not dark yet, so that's good. Well, here we are, starting to get out of Houston. It's been pretty bad rush hour for the last little while here, and. Just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a clip on what it looks like when it's dark. Looks pretty good, eh? Well, this is it. <clears throat> we are finished for today. It's been a pretty good day. It was a little bit tough getting out of uh, Houston, but uh, hey, we made it out <clears throat> with no problems. And uh, yeah, I was gonna go across the street here at the pilot, but uh, yeah, I went in there and there was zero parking available. So I was gonna go continue down the road, and then all of a sudden I saw this truck stop up here had some uh, available spots. So I got me a good spot in here, and we'll be spending the night in here. I think it's called Hunts, uh, Huntsville, Texas. I think it's called. <coughs> So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you again tomorrow.